What if there were no open mic shows? No DJ, no host. No one in these seats would. I still write poetry. Would I spit these poems knowing I had no finger snaps or hand claps and that there were no more encores? If nobody reacts, comments, and shares would, would that passion still be there? So far from what I see, this ain't poetry. This is a docu-series about love, life, and literature. So would you kick off your shoes, relax your feet, and follow me this way as I tell you about these growing pains. Life have us thinking sometimes. Some people, when they think, they like to put whiskey in a wine glass. Me, I like to flick my back. Listen, smoking, thinking, who hurt you? And how is that hurt hurtful? I see your hurt through closed eyes. I suppose I'm crossing lines, but, but we've been spending time. And lately, your feelings have been affecting mine, the energy, the vibes. Sweetheart, I come in peace. Sweetheart, it seems. Like your feelings have now diminished and I'm not even sure you want them replenished, but but that can't be true. I can tell when you look at me the way you do. I feel it in your touch, my back rubs. Smoking, thinking. Sweetheart, please. Sweetheart, can we do something neither of us have done before? Like get naked with our clothes on. Share stories of fears, tears, and things that make us insecure. If you deal with my bullshit, I'll deal with yours. This may be a little premature, but I've been smoking and I've been thinking. You see, this package comes with baggage I'm trying to heal from. I'm just trying to fill up my cup before I give B to anyone. There's a B I want to be, and she's ten times better than me. So basically, what that means is I'm trying to be a doper B. I made a promise to myself I have to hold up so that when this journey is done, I won't be damaged, I won't be broken. I don't want to break things no more, that's not just a poem. I'm hoping with these feelings and emotions to better control them and be transparent when I show them. But I'm just smoking, just thinking. You see, I'm not ready to commit and you're not looking for a relationship. And high key, I hate that shit because there's bluer lines on where my place is. You see, I've dreamt daydreams of you and me. How it would be if we take that leap, then here comes reality. And all I can see is skin knees, bruises, scars, broken hearts. Because neither of us were ready to play that part, smoking, thinking. When I say I'm not ready to commit, I'm not talking monogamy and shit. Let's just say everything I ever wanted to do, I already did. But I've identified ways in which I've been toxic and I'm just trying to stop it. I realized I kept dangling the same bait, catching the same fish with a different name, I'm just saying. Time for a change and as cliche as it may be I'm just trying to be the change I want to see Perhaps I'll attract something that's different for me so far You're different from what I see I'm not trying to be perfect, I just know you're worth it For me to give you the best B I have to offer I'm just trying to foster the enemy to be my own ally But I, I'm just smoking, just thinking See, I know you have a lot of shit on your plate too I see how heavy it weighs on you, and if I may tell the truth, I see the weight of the world on your back like Atlas, but I've never seen you lose your balance, and that is low-key attractive on your superwoman shit, handling business, and if we become anything more than this, I'm just trying to be the one you share your plate with, smoking. You're no Deborah Cox, but I know I'm not supposed to be here. You spent five years with another motherfucker selling you dreams and telling you things to keep you near, let me be clear. I'm no Drake, but you need change, and I'm just trying to be the cashier. Let me be his stuntman so I can do all the things he didn't. All the things he didn't. Like, listen, I might be tripping. Walk in contradiction, because I'm smoking. Thank you. Hey, B, it's great to see you this week. How's, how are things been going? Uh, 
I mean, you know, pretty much the same. I mean, yeah, some ups and downs. Overall, I mean, I feel like I, I kept my head in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in a good place right now. So Okay, I remember last week we were talking about um, love relationships and love and love loss and things like that. And I know there were some other things you wanted to share. Is, is, it, is it okay if we start there? Um, What's on your mind? I mean... I've been known to wear my heart on my sleeve So these days you'll frequently find me rocking sleeveless tees This fool learned that love don't love nobody No remorse, no apologies I spent 13 years in relationships and for the life of me I can't make this shit make sense I wrote I don't wanna break things no more and ever since I realize how much my shit is broken too They say it's better to love and lose than to never love at all I'm curious of how many times did they fall Because I got bruises, blisters and scars I've got limbs that don't bend the way they used to My knees and elbows are through A few concussions too that are proof that Love don't love me back they say it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get up. But right now I'm on four in this relationship stuff. To be honest, I'm stuck as fuck, cause see my knees keep buckling. I can't support my weight in theirs too. Because let's be clear, there was enough luggage between each of them and myself too. Not dealt with, and just there. We could shut down the fucking baggage claim, I swear. Baggage that had to be unpacked. And let's just say we didn't fold clothes the same I like my shirts folded in fourths, not thirds, I'm just saying Now don't get it twisted, whatever my mother needed to do, she did it And I'll never forget it And to say anything else is an insult But I didn't get things that I didn't even know I needed until I was an adult I mean, it's no one's fault, just the result of suppression And not knowing what to do with my emotions I was guarded, like fucking Buckingham, damn Walls taller than you've ever seen Wider than the distance in between here and there But I mean, I still long to be loved And that just might be where I fucked up I wanted to be worthy of demolition But took a minute for me to see brick by brick I was still building I truly believe they loved me the best way they could I want that to be understood But it wasn't good enough because They didn't love me the way I wish they would I'm free I just want to be, I want to be free to be B, no collar, no leash. So B, I really want to thank you for your vulnerability and your openness. And um, I want to remind you that your feelings are real, your emotions are real. And it's okay to feel what you feel. It's okay to think what you think. I want to challenge you for the next week to give yourself the love, the grace, the patience, giving yourself permission to be happy, to be loved, to be free, and to have a good day. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. All right, well, I look forward to meeting with you next week. Yes, ma'am. Do you want me to walk you out? I'm good, I'm good. You're good? Thank you. you sure? Yes, ma'am. Well, it's been a pleasure, and I can't wait to talk to you next week. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a beautiful day. You as well. Thank you. Today was a good day Actually the best I've had for as long as I can remember Been a minute since I said that And that be true But for every high there's a low, that's the rules You see today My anxiety stayed at bay My depression was nowhere to be found And 
The racing thoughts slowed their pace as they moved about. I was focused. Notice. I control what I had control over. Notice. There was no mention of emotional leftovers. Today I let go of the emotional baggage of my past, you see. I had grown weary from carrying all of that, and today I just wasn't breaking my back. I didn't worry about the things yet to come or all of the things I haven't done. I stayed present and in the moment only, keeping track of the points I scored. Realize that falling short doesn't take points off the board. I'ma say it again. I only kept track of the points I scored. Realize falling short doesn't take points off the board. Today I was my star player. I stayed in the game with record breaking playtime shit. I'm feeling like I should have had some autographs to sign. And you wanna know why? I woke up and said, fuck it today. I did. I said, I woke up and said, fuck it today in high key. I wish I knew 10 different languages. So I can say fuck it and have 10 different ways to say it in. I've come to the point where there's nothing left in me. I'm unavailable, incapable of giving any of me to anything or anybody, honestly. I'm tired. I promise you. I try to hold my head high, take it all in stride, swallow my pride. But today, fuck all that shit. I'm not having it. Unless it's a check or an orgasm. My peace has been reclaimed, it's no longer up for grabs I'm taking back all the power I've ever had And if a motherfucker wanna test that on my mama, you can catch these hands Today I love me better than I like anything else, period, I'm serious I'm my most important person, place, and thing That's body, spirit, mind, respectively, today was a good day I'll never forget this shit I spit Said never lose your positive attitude Understands that opposites attract and therefore negativity is bound to come towards you. I have yet to utter a truer truth. But I should have added that no matter the circumstance, there's a chance that the weight of that plate don't weigh the way it used to. It's okay to sit it down and walk away for a few. You see, the race isn't given to who's swifter. Told myself, slow down, baby girl, no need to be a sprinter. You see, me bearing my cross don't give them splinters. And when there's no contenders, there can only be one winner today I won. And if I keep it up like this, I'm definitely going to the championships. A place where I am the best B I could be. Because nobody can do B better than me. Happy in my own lane. Cause if I switch it up, then the traffic just don't flow the same. I'm good here, riding my own way. Today was a good day. And as I jot this thought, I'm overwhelmed with this feeling. I feel full. I'm proud. Because they have no clue what I had to do the birth to be I am now. It's amazing how a shift in perception changed the direction of my reception to what I allow. If it's not feeding, financing, or fucking me, I respectfully disavow. After all the unpacking that happened, the soul searching in prayer, I'm an invitation only kind of affair. So hate from outside of the club, you can't get in. And before this ends, I think I'ma go burn me some sage. Just to keep all that negative energy away. Today was a good day.